Hey guys, welcome to the Solid Cam University channel. In this video, we'll be doing a quick video on how to do a spiral pocket. Um, for this, we actually aren't going to be using the pocket operation, but we are going to be using the 3D milling option. So first things first, come to your add milling and come down to your 3D milling. Now, if you guys don't have this feature, please let me know, and you can actually email me at kevin.rankle at solidcam.com, and we'll get that uh, turned on for you. So what we want to do first is do a spiral pass facing off the top of our part. So I'm just going to do a working area and grab that outside perimeter and set to external. And grab a half inch end mill here and we'll set up our levels. And now we'll get into the good stuff here. So what you want to pick is the spiral option right here. And you want to open up the data tab and click on spiral. And you want a radius that's going to be big enough to cover your part. So we'll just set it to 7 right now. Hit OK. Save and calculate. And you'll see that it produces a perfect spiral for you guys. Um, now, what we're doing here is we're actually starting from the center. Let's just do a quick simulate here. It's starting from the center and working its way out. Now, if you guys want, what you guys can do is you can actually change the direction and start from the outside and work your way in. And by doing this, you'll get a really nice uh, tool path. So let's just go to the data tab now. And now what you want to do is just change around your start and end. So we'll put seven in the, in the start and we'll put zero in for the end. Hit OK. Do a save and calculate here. And now we're starting from the outside and working our way to the center. So you can see doing a nice spiral, keeping that constant step over throughout the entire pass. So real simple, easy to use. Now I just want to tape it, take it one step farther here is if we were doing the inside pocket here. So what I'm going to do is just make a save and copy here. I'm going to switch my geometry around. So I'm going to change my working area. And I'm going to do internal now because I want it to stay internal to that pocket. We'll use that same cutter. Levels. Change up real quick. And we'll go to our technology. We'll still leave it on spiral data but now we want to start from the center and work our way out so we'll just switch these numbers around again here hit ok save and calculate and you'll see we get a nice spiral pattern working away now down um, working our way around to the outside now if you guys want to ramp into the material you can just come into your lead in and do a, an arc or uh, whatnot in there to uh, ramp into the material so um, just want to do a quick video on how to do a spiral inside, you know, using a kind of like a pocketing operation with 3D milling. If you guys have any questions, please email me at kevin.rankle, and that's R-A-N-K-L at solidcam.com. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.